Hello there, it's Christian and welcome back to my computer. I'm playing around with Fusion 360 again. Today I'm doing a sine wave around a circle because there was a question on the Facebook group uh, Fusion 360 users on if we could have a circle and then make a sine wave run around it. Yes, we can. So we're going to start a new design. Um, just move some things here. Uh, the first thing I like to say is that if you are frustrated with my way of working, there is a specific specific video for you. Don't get frustrated with me or Fusion 360, where you can learn some things how I work. I will try to make it be as slow as possibly I can. Sometimes I just hit buttons. I am used to do that. We start with some parameters. So modify, change parameters. The first one we're gonna have is uh, we need a circle diameter. Can name everyone. Gonna do this 100. No, no diameter. I'm gonna use a radius just because I use arcs, a circle radius. Uh, 100, so the circle will be 200 millimeters when it's finished. Hit OK. The second thing I need to do is number of waves. Uh, important here, change unit to no unit, and I'm gonna do 16 waves to begin with. I'm using the pipe to create the last body, so I'm going to hit in my pipe diameter. We're going to start with 3 millimeters. And now we're going to do some math. Uh, we're going to use a coil. Hive. Uh, we are spelling things correctly today. Uh, and the math is we need to calculate the arc length. So this is the circle radius. And to, create, to calculate the circumference of a circle, we need the diameter times 2 times pi. That's the circumference of a circle, and we divide it by the number of waves. I will not explain everything here, but what I will do now, I forgot to do, I'm going to leave a comment out here. I normally do that, so remember, I don't touch that. I'm not allowed to touch that equation. But the next equation I can touch, uh, I'm calling this coil diameter. This is the amplitude of the wave. This we can change. I'm just doing an equation to get me started. Uh, I use coil height uh, divided by 2 and minus pipe diameter. So this half a coil height and minus pipe diameter. This gives me a good rough start and looks quite sine wavy the way we are doing. And by that we have all the parameters we need. So hit OK. I'm just gonna uh, scratch my ear. And uh, we're gonna start create a sketch. And uh, let's do it on here. Uh, we're gonna start with a line. I hit the L on my keyboard to do line straight down. This is gonna be circle radius. It's gonna be 90 degrees, so that's correct. Make sure we get horizontal constraint. We're gonna do an arc. We're gonna use the center point arc from the center point. To here, just drag it out, do a second line from the end point into the center point. And that was wrong. Sometimes fusion hits me with extra line. Let's do that again, like that. And these two is gonna be construction line, and we're gonna dimension the angle between them here. It's gonna be 360 divided by the number of waves. So the arc I'm creating here is gonna be the same as one. The arc is going to be the same as one wavelength. Uh, we're going to need a line for the sheet metal rule to work fully correctly. And let's do coil diameter for that one. Not that important, just use something that's constant distance so it doesn't move around. And by that we do finish sketch. Now we're going to pop over to the sheet metal. We're going to create a flange. We're going to hit a little line. And we're just going to pull it out for now so we have something to look at. As you can see, it's on the outside of a line. I don't want that. I want it so I have to change thickness. I'm going to change that to side 2. So it's on the inside. Direction is going to be symmetric. So it does on both sides. And the distance I'm using is coil diameter. I'm going to do it times 2. So it gets larger than the coil I'm going to create. And I will not change the sheet metal rule now. We're going to do that in a short while. Hit enter. So we have our little flange. Go on to modify up here, modify, unfold, click on the flat part, click on the bend, the bend straightens out. Thank you. The problem now is there are sheet metal rules on how metal stretches and things like that, so we need to change that. We hit the, hit the sheet metal rules up here, 
we have steel right now I will not change but I just simply hit the pen change the K factor to 1 that means the outside will remain the same size and by that I will now open up my menus over here and turn off that body and what we will do now we will go back to solid over here we're not sheet metal more we're going to create a coil turn around a bit until we look on the right side out here like that so we're looking from the side I'm gonna hit on this plane and then I'm gonna pick up this point over here I want to look straight at the side because it's much easier to hit them otherwise it's do strange things so we want the square one that's the end point and we're gonna do coil diameter like we're gonna need to put in it twice anyway and I have a plane earlier I normally get three revolutions on a coil so we can start with revolutions it's gonna be one the diameter is going to be our coil diameter our height is going to be our coil height uh, no angles triangle internal yeah the triangle is pointed inwards is placed on the outside that means this line was the inside edge of this triangle is going to be the one we're going to use later uh, for section size so things doesn't cra crash i normally use coil diameter divided by four like that and by that we have a coil hit OK looks good and now we are gonna turn on our sheet mother body again what we're gonna do now you can see we have a coil behind here we are gonna create look on the front side we are gonna create a sketch on this flat front side here and what we're gonna do now we're gonna do projection so I hit P on the, the keyboard and I find the inner part of this triangle here so that edge is one I want I hit that hit OK and I turn off the solid body that's the coil so I don't see that anymore it's much easier and I hit look at over here so I get straight from the straight from the front I hit L on the keyboard for line and now I'm gonna create our uh, profile which I'm gonna cut with so I'm going from point to point and like this so I have made a uh, a profile up here finish sketch hit E for extrude on the keyboard so I get extrude and uh, choose the profiles uh, the distance or extent distance I change to object I'm just gonna turn around and hit the back side of the flange so it casts straight through it like that and now we have a sketch in the way it's gonna remove that and now we have a little beautiful little wave and now we're gonna refold it so we go back to cheat metal and refold faces is over here at the end of all the icons and by that we have a little nice little thing here uh, just for cleanup I like to do it I hit E for extrude again click on the top face here and tell it extent distance to object and I click on the back side here this makes sure it casts away everything and nothing else more than that or anything strange happens by this I have just left over with wave I need so now we go back to solid create we're gonna find a pipe command and we choose the outer edge here now because that's the one with the correct dimensions that one is going to do a cut we're going to change that we start we do section size we do pipe diameter and we're going to change this to a new body we hit ok and uh, now we have three bodies suddenly here and we can yeah the ones we don't want, I'm gonna just turn off them first here, like okay. So that's one of be. So I click this and hold down control and click the second body and right click on them and go down to remove. Do not use delete for crashes thing, you do remove. So now we have only one body left, otherwise it gets confusing sometimes. So now we have one wavelength. Now we need the rest of them. So we can do a circular pattern. I hit S on the keyboard, start typing circular pattern. And there's a circular pattern. Thank you. Pattern type bodies. Yes, please. This body. The axis. Uh, you can choose the axis here, but the easiest way is just to click on the arc here. Uh, you can use any part of an arc or circle as an axis for a circular pattern or evolves or anything. So we click this. It wants to do three of them, that's wrong. We got a number of waves and hit OK. And now I'm gonna turn off the sketch. Now we have a bunch of bodies, but I will not combine them now. I will not combine them until I'm finished how I want the waves to look. 
because combine uses the body numbers and stuff like that so when you start changing parameters number of waves and so forth if you do the combine before you have decided how many waves you do it produces strange errors so let's open our parameter menu change parameters oh it's a big one let's reduce the size a bit and here's a little wave so maybe we want more waves if we add more waves the amplitude will go down it is do 20 as you can see we get more waves and more body parts and uh, now I, I want to do 15 can I do that I can do odd numbers very nice can do it make name if I want as you can see now the lower I go uh, the higher the amplitude gets uh, I don't know how hard deep oh six yeah it works and we can change the pipe five minutes and so forth let's go back to 16 and let's do three something like that if new summary so I said do not touch the coil height that needs to be calculated by it I can change the coil diameter which is the amplitude of a wave if for some reason it's now 16 for 63 uh, we can do that 25 millimeters I mean it doesn't make much higher amplitude so you can play around with that the equation I have here is just so make sure I don't crash things when I start and then you can start playing around and then you have found okay this is one I want to have we hit OK and we choose the combine. That's a beauty, beauty, blue, beautiful icon up here. And we choose the target body. And we're gonna hold down and hold down Shift and all the way down and hit OK. And by that we have now one body, which we can play around with and do whatever we want with. So this is how I wrap a sine wave around. A, sorry, I'm gonna go from a front was a plan. Uh, so you can see a nice sine wave back and forth here. So that's how to do a sine wave around the circle. I hope this is helpful to you. Take care about and see you around. Bye.